everybody. Happy Thursday. Doreen from Door Designs. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I'm going to be doing a design on about an 18 inch round grapevine wreath. Uh, and I'm going to kind of do it a little bit different. We're going to use some different floral bushes that we're not going to pull apart. We're not going to have to do all the different figuring out where we want our placements to be. Um, some of the questions I got last week is how do I know where to place everything? So I'm going to show you kind of a shortcut, especially if you're new to doing grapevines or you just don't have time to cut everything apart and put it back together. If you do multiples, this is a great way to do them. So we're kind of kind of do that and I'm going to kind of show you different placements that you can do around your wreath. Uh, this isn't going to be a long design because it goes by so quick, but I have two questions that I get asked a lot that I wanted to uh, answer. First question is, what do I use to make my holders? Uh, when I'm doing a wreath, like if I'm going to have it at my house, I don't use a holder. I just use my hanger and it goes behind there. I don't waste my time putting on a holder. But if you want one, I use this covered wire that I get at uh, Hobby Lobby and it comes in different colors like here's a lighter brown this is a dark brown I think it comes in green you can get this over by the floral supplies and what I mean by that is where the florals are where they sell like the floral wire the different green styrofoam that's uh, these are hanging up on the wall it's real, very expensive and it'll last you a long time the second question I get all the time is my glue pot. My glue pot is actually just an electric skillet I got at Walmart. I use Gorilla Glue Sticks that I get at Walmart or on Amazon or wherever I'm at. I just fill it up, I let it melt, and then I keep my glue pot on all day. If I'm designing all day, I keep it about 325 to 330. Um, at night, I just unplug it. I do not, I repeat, do not empty the glue out. I don't clean it, don't do anything like that. My glue gets hard. The next day when I come in, I plug it back in, the glue melts and off, off you go. So I keep my glue in my electric skillet. I really can't talk about like glue pots because I don't know anything about them. I can't really endorse any because all I use is my electric skillet. So those were the two big questions I had last week. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, 18 inch um, grapevine wreath. I've already cleaned it. And what I mean by that is any sharp edges or things sticking out, I'll go through and I clip mine. I know a lot of people don't do that. I feel better doing that before I ship it to my uh, client. So that's all been done. So we're ready to design. So what we're gonna use today, we're gonna use these floral bushes right here. And I got these from Deco Exchange. Uh, the number is 662659. Six, Sorry, I don't have my re readers here. Um, what I like about things like this, it has multiple flowers. It's got different colors. It's got different greenery. So everything that you would be adding separately, you can find in bushes like this. You can add it all in one piece as what we're going to do today, or you can tear them apart based on all the different little stems. So today I just kind of want to show you how we can do, take three, maybe four of these, fill this up. We're going to add a beautiful bow and you can kind of arrange it different ways that you want. And it's going to look like a nice full wild sunflower or wild flower design. So let's go ahead and I'm going to place my first one. I'm not gonna cut anything off. I'm just gonna leave it in. I'm gonna weed that through the grapevine base. So let's open it up a little bit. So all I'm doing is just kind of moving them around because they're kind of flat from, I wanna bring this flower to the front. And we've got some curly cues. So let's go ahead and curl those. And all I do is I just take those and wrap those around my finger. This kind of gives it a little bit of a whimsy look to it. Okay, I am gonna start up here about 11 o'clock and place my first one. We're gonna take it way down in there. Okay, so there's the first one and see how nice and full it is look how much space that took up just by the first one so now we're going to do our second one and you can buy bushes like this just about anywhere michael's hobby lobby like i said these came from deco exchange any wholesaler
Okay, we have in number two. See how nice? Now you can make these as full as you want or you can stop. So I think I'm gonna try and get by with just doing three, maybe add a little bit of greenery and maybe putting our bow over here on this side. But I'm gonna show you where you can put different bow placements. So let's go ahead and get this one. For those of you who follow me know purple is one of my favorite colors to design with. Whoops. So I really like the sunflowers with the purple. Okay, I'm going to put my third placement right down here at about 5 o'clock. That's where I'm going to stick it in at. And I'm just kind of spreading these a little more because when I do the florals, I don't like it to look all compact. I like it to look where there's movement to all the florals. So there's three. I'm going to let, leave this one coming straight down a little bit. It kind of elongates my design. So now let's kind of play around with the bow. So for this one, you could put your bow right down here. You could put your bow up higher if you wanted. You could actually, if you wanted, um, where I did this one, it doesn't really look that great, but you could keep it all at, on top and put your bow here. You can bring your bow to the inside of your design. So there's several ways you can do these, which makes them really nice. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and put it about halfway because I want some of my grapevine wreath to show. I don't want it to be all the way covered up. So let me get a long zip tie here. And I'm just going to run that through here. This grapevine's a good grapevine. It's nice and tight. Um, I get my grapevines from a wholesaler. Um, I believe it's out of Arkansas, but you can get grapevine wreaths from, if you've got a wholesale license, Sims Pottery. If you don't, like Deco Exchange, um, I know usually has a good supply of them. So I'm just going to zip tie my bow right to the grapevine. I'm gonna zip tie that, that nice and tight. We'll clip off the end. And I'm just kind of fluffing my bow a little bit here. And I'm going to curl my purple velvet. Okay, I'm going to cut my tails a little bit shorter. I really don't want them quite that long.
see how nice and pretty that looks? So we did one bow, and the bow has got one two inch of the burlap, one two inch of the um, sunflower of the dotted Swiss, an inch and a half of the dotted Swiss, and then five eighths of the velvet. Okay, for those of you who don't like to see very much of your grapevine, you can add in some greenery of different textures and colors. So I'm just gonna do just a couple pieces just to show you. But for me, I would leave this just as is. But see how you can add in, and we're gonna go ahead and add some in. And what that does, it kind of breaks up the look that you don't have the same florals and greenery all the way around. It gives you another dimension to it. So let's add a couple more pieces. taking these and cutting them in half because it comes like this and they're way too long so I just cut one off and I cut it in half so it goes a lot longer a lot further Couple more pieces. So, like I said, if you're new to doing grapevines, this is a great way to start out. One more piece and I think we're done. Okay, look how cute this turned out. So to kind of just recap here, we used three of this bush that came from Deco Exchange. We just kind of, I just kind of spread them apart to fill it in. I didn't have to trim anything. I didn't cut anything off. And I started at the top at about 11 o'clock. So I did about 11 o'clock, uh, let's see, probably about nine o'clock. And then I did about, um, let's see, top 11 and probably about seven or eight o'clock down here. Added a little bit of extra greenery just to give it a little bit difference to it. And then one nice big bow. So there it is. And then from the side, look nice and full. It's nice lightweight. It doesn't weigh much for your client or for their door. So we did this in 15 minutes. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this little simpler, easier way to do a wreath and still come out with a beautiful, full design. And like I said, you can use any kind of floral bushes, whether it's winter, fall, summer, spring. You can find these types of bushes anywhere, and it's a great go-to. 
So I've enjoyed showing you this, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. For those of you who want to know how to know when I go, um, when I do my videos, if you follow me, you have to follow me, and then when I post them, you should get a notification. I do not send out text alerts and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna, I apologize, but you're gonna have to follow to actually get it on your. Um, feed through Facebook. Have a great holiday weekend. Enjoy your time, whether you're traveling, be safe or with family. Enjoy the long holiday weekend. Have a good week and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.